Hey guys, so I'm gonna be making a new video today and it's gonna be on the, it's kinda gonna be a review on my glam. Now, it seems like I haven't made a video in a really long time, but um, I've actually been having a lot of issues with uploading, so unfortunately it won't let me directly upload, so I'm gonna try it today, hopefully it goes through. So I recently received my very first my glam bag, it's gonna be, I'm pretty sure the July bag. This is what it actually looks like. I already took a lot of the products out, but and I think it's really cute. It's a really nice small carrying case. Um, inside you get um, a list of products. This is the one for this month, and so there's some that you can uh, you get for sure. Like it's in every single bag, and there's other products that you receive that can be optional. So in this one, there's gonna be uh, Juice Beauty, the Green Apple Moisturizer SPF 15, uh, New May Hydro Punch Hydrating Conditioner. Um, Buxom uh, lip polish, and let's see, one of Andrea Circus colors for the nails, and then a Yes to Cucumber on the Go Face towel list. Now the other ones that are uh, optional that you might receive are the Kiehl's uh, Ultra Face Lotion or the Josie Moran uh, Magic Marker, and those are um, interchangeable with the either the green apple moisturizer or the lip polish so I received um, the green apple uh, moisturizer I'm going to review this one first this is what it looks like and this is like a mini version of it um, now this thing is exceptionally thick uh, I tried it for the very first time uh, today and yesterday or first time was yesterday when I first got it actually um, the smell does smell like green apple but it's more of a chemicalized green apple so it's not don't expect it to be like you know nice and uh natural um yeah it's definitely like more of a mixture um the consistency is extremely thick it's actually to the point where it's actually kind of hard to put on which is kind of not so good so i'll go ahead and show you guys that um that's how it comes out and as you guys can see it takes a lot to really um, get it to go away. It's still kind of on my hand, if you can see that color difference. Um, now, absorption is really good, though, on the other hand. It, my face definitely soaks it up to the point where I actually feel like I need more product than I what I put on. Maybe I'm just putting on a little too little, but I'm really worried that it's going to make my face oily because of how thick the actual moisturizer is. Um, but so far I like it. It hasn't made me oily or made me break out, so that's pretty good. Um, next item I'm going to review is actually the nail polish that I'm currently wearing. I tried it out just to see how well it works. Now, the only problem with this that I found was that it's a very sheer polish and it doesn't apply evenly at all. Um, this is the actual nail polish. Now, and it's very cute. This is the container it comes in, so it's just like that. And there's three different colors that you could have received. It's either pink, white, or yellow. Um, unfortunately, yellow is not really my favorite color. I really much rather preferred either of the two other colors. But um, I work, I'm going to work with it. This is um, the three polishes that you could have received. Now, um, I some of the parts I put on, it came, went on very easily. But um, the... Consistency, consistency of the nail polish is definitely a little thin, which is why it is a little uneven as well. I've been wearing it for only two or three days, and with three coats, it's still somewhat chipping. I am a little more harsh with my nails, though, so that might be why. Um, otherwise, it's actually holding up pretty well. Um, personally, I might buy this if... I like the color a little more depending on the price though. If this thing was like a little excessive in price, I definitely wouldn't purchase it. Next item is going to be the Yes to Cucumber. Now I'm actually really happy I got this because I keep seeing this in Target and in like a lot of new convenient or the regular convenience store that you go to. Um, the Yes to Cucumber is a hypoallergenic facial tissue. It's to remove makeup, cleanse, and nourish skin. This is a travel size. You get 10 towelettes in it. Um, the scent is not bad. It's a very, uh, of course, it's supposed to be based on a uh, cucumber, but it has a really clean smell. It actually smells like the Sea Island cotton scent from Bath and Body Works, if you know what that smells like, which is 
kind of weird, excuse me, since uh, this is supposed to be a cucumber, but um, the ingredients, I mean, it's not, I guess it's not really bad, but it's not exactly all natural either, but it says that um, there are, they do use like some completely organic ingredients. Um, this one I've tried out and it's really good on my skin. It, it actually does moisturize. I do, I'm wearing makeup today so I'm going to test out how well it takes off my makeup. The day that I use it, I just use it to kind of wipe down my skin to cleanse it a little bit during the day. Um, so, and it did that very well. Unfortunately, I didn't have a moisturizer at, moisturizer at the time. So, that's why I know that it didn't dry on my skin because my face didn't become oily after using it. So, I'm definitely going to do like a follow up on this one. Um, next one is going to be the uh, Magic Marker Lip and Cheek Stain. This is from Jitterbug. Uh, this is one of the ones that it's either you receive this one or you get the um, lip, yeah, the lip polish. So um, this one I actually even, haven't even tried out, but it's really cute. Unfortunately, I tend to not really like these stains. This is what it looks like. And it's just a very pink polish. Maybe I can use it right now. So as you can, it's pretty dark, I think. Mm. And it goes on watery, which is what I like, because I know I used one of the stains once. And, um, but I guess it has to be a little watery since it's also a cheek stain, so you need to be able to kind of move it around. But it, maybe if you can see a bit of a difference, I, hmm, it kind of, as it's drying, you can definitely tell that it is drying. Um, it's not as, uh, fast drying as some of the other stains, so you have some time to kind of move it around your lips and to get it evened out before it settles. Um. So I'm going to do, like, there's a couple products I have to do follow-ups on, and including the last one that I'm going to show you guys, which is these, but it's those three. Last one is actually this one, the Nume. Um, it's a hair conditioner. It's specifically for dry and damaged hair, which is amazing because, I mean, my hair is very dry and damaged because of all the dyeing that I've been doing. So I'm very, um, I look forward to actually trying this out. Now, um, as to actually rating my glam, do I think all of these products are worth $10? I would have to say I think it is actually, just because of the fact that you do get a mixture of sample size and regular size products. I mean, this one is of course a regular size product that you can use. Nail polish is a regular size product, and this alone, um, even if you got a cheap one, would cost you at least three dollars. This one, another maybe four or five dollars. So right there, you're already almost getting um, like your money's worth. Um, so and on top of that, you actually receive uh, like gift certificates. So this is not gift certificates. You get coupons. So this one is a coupon. You can use it on either Nume Style or for the Hydro Punch, which are both products that are included in this, uh, in my bag. And um, you can get either like $49 off a set or 50% off any product. So those are really t um, money saving like coupons, which I think would be really useful if you're actually using them. Um, I definitely do think this is, uh, my glam is a lot more worth it than a lot of other websites that are going on nowadays. Um, I know I tried, I looked into like things like glossy box and that that's definitely not worth it since it's twenty something dollars and you're only receiving samples. So um, my glam I actually really like so far. They debited the money from my account on July first, like exactly July first, and I received the um, product by the second week. So they do tell you that um, an estimate about when you're gonna get it. They told me I'm gonna probably receive it mid month, which is this um about correct actually a little earlier even. So I definitely like their timing. Um you can keep up with their products and what's gonna be coming out on their website as well. So I definitely like that. Um that's my uh initial review of my glam so I'm gonna definitely keep this up and also try out these other products. Um if there's anything that really stands out I'm gonna definitely like uh, notice it and maybe purchase it myself as well. So I hope that helps you guys um, who might be looking into uh, subscribing to my glam. I do know I did have to put myself on the waiting list and actually give them like my debit card information before I actually received it because of the fact that I guess so many people just want do want this one because it's so worth it. So thanks everyone and I hope you guys are able to see my other videos very soon. Thanks. Bye.